Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add, uh, manage, and remove players from your school and how to enroll rosters in the fall season. So I'm going to start by showing off a brand new school and what that looks like. Um, the first thing you're going to do is go to your school page. Uh, you can do that from, if you're at the IHSCA homepage, schools on the left, and you should be able to find your school here. Um, you can also use the search bar. And this is our home base for our school. Um, if you already have existing members, they should be on this member list. If you have existing teams, they'll be here. But right now we're starting from scratch. Uh, and we're gonna wanna go to settings. And then on the left-hand side, you're gonna see members. Um, we're going to be, if we're adding people, uh, invites. So from this page, this is where you manage all of your active invite links. Um, on the right hand side here, we have create invite. Uh, it allows us to edit how long the invite's active for, how many uses, and then what roles the person will receive upon filling out uh, and following this link. So, you know, if we wanted to invite a coach, I usually give them coach and manager. Um, coach designates that they're a coach to other people, but manager allows them to actually manage your rosters. Uh, if we're doing a player, we just select player. Whatever you do, we'll hit activate, and then it gives you the code to copy, or you can send it directly to people's uh, emails. Uh, another way to create invites to your school, you can see up here in the top left, we have invite. Um, this is the exact same box that you saw above, but this can be accessed from any of your pages. So if you're looking at your members list, you see someone's missing, invite, boom, it's all right here. Um, this grant ownership box is something that you're uh, only gonna wanna give to admins of your program. So um, by checking this box, it allows people to add, delete, manage players and teams, um, change your school colors, your logo, all of that. So never give this to a student, only to um, other adults who are running the program um, as that gives them full access to uh, pretty much everything on your page in school. So now I'm gonna to go to a school um, that has members. Um, so for instance, unit five, you can see that they have a member list. This is just everyone who's active on your roster. Uh, let's say you have students that have graduated or students uh, that you're planning to remove. Uh, everything is really gonna be done from this settings page. So we'll go to settings again. And then over here, you can see that we have a long list of members. Um, and essentially what you'll do, let's say this student has graduated, uh, we go to the cog here and you can set them to inactive, which would remove them from your members list. Um, if they, let's say um, you just wanna clear out your list and start from scratch, you can set everyone to inactive. When they rejoin a team, um, they'll be set to active again. You can set them as graduated or ineligible essentially manage your team like this, but this will clear out your members. You can also delete players um, and, and such like that. But setting them to inactive is, is the best thing to do, inactive or graduated. So that's how you manage your members list. All right, so let's say you're an existing program and you have a large teams list from past years um, or whatnot, uh, and you wanna get rid of these and clear out uh, some some lists. Here's what you're going to do. So first off, we'll go to from our home page, we'll go to our teams tab. And we'll go to the individual team. So I created a test team here. We'll go here. Now that we're on the teams page, you can see IHSEA, unit five, test team. Uh, we're going to go to the settings of that team. Here it says team profile. And you're just going to set the team to inactive and then hit save. Uh, and if you do that, We'll go back to our uh, school, go back to our teams list, and you can see test team is gone. So if you have a long list of, of outdated rosters, you can set them to inactive and start fresh. All right, so now we are going to enroll in a season. Uh, right here, you can see registration is open for fall of 24 and our first big uh, LAN event in October. Um, so we're gonna register for Mario Kart. I'm gonna click on Mario Kart here. This is gonna bring you to the games landing page. Um, and I'm gonna do this register team button. So the only people you can see here, the only people that will have access are team managers. 
So if you're having issues or you don't see this button personally, um, what you're gonna do is go back to your uh, school page. So I'll go back here and in the members list, find yourself and make sure that you have um, this manager role. If you're the admin, you can go to settings and just give yourself the manager role. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, but we have the manager role. We're gonna go back to our Mario Kart season and hit register team. It's gonna allow you to select either uh, a school that you have, um, but let's say you already have a school that has a Mario Kart team put together. You can select your team from here uh, or you can hit create new team, which is what I recommend most schools do. Uh, and we'll pick the school, we'll go Barrington. I'm just gonna make a test team. We'll pick a color, the color is not super relevant. Uh, and then our skill tier. So if this is your varsity or JV team, we'll make it a JV team. Uh, and then I'm gonna hit submit and it's gonna bring us to our team manager page. So from here, you can see the status. Uh, I need at least four players for this team to be enrolled. Uh, ranking doesn't matter um, and nothing is set yet. So our goals are right here. Um, this is our season roster. So what we can do is if you have students already in your school, um, you can search them here. Uh, I don't know if I have any right now, um, but another way to do this is create invite code. So if I click on this, it generates us a link. We're gonna do a player and these students will be directly invited not only to your school, but also to your team. Um, so this is gonna be a great way to get people onto the team. If your students already have a LegalOS account, they'll use this link, it'll sign them in and it'll put them on the roster. Um, and how, again, how you use this, you select the expiration time, how many uses, what roles they have. Again, for player, you're gonna to wanna to do player. Um, you're probably not gonna to wanna to grant ownership of team, so let's unselect that. And we'll hit activate, and then you send this link to whoever you want on this roster. All right, and let's say you've submitted a roster, you're unsure if you are fully enrolled in a season or not. Uh, here's how you can check. So let's go back to Mario Kart as an example. We're gonna go in Mario Kart to the rosters tab and everyone listed under season rosters has completed registration uh, and has the correct amount of students with friend codes. So you can see plenty of students here. Um, and since they're verified, all of their switch friend codes are linked uh, and they should be good to go. Um, my rosters are listed here. You can see that they're still pending, which means that I still have work to do. Um, the requirements to automatically put you into a season are that you have enough players and that those players have the correct accounts linked. So for Mario Kart, they need to put in their Switch friend code. Uh, for Valorant, they need to put in their Riot ID and so forth. Um, if you want to check on the status of your roster, we can just click on the settings button here. And that's gonna bring you back to this page where you can see I have one confirmed player, which is myself. Um, I still need to connect my Switch friend code. I have two of three requirements complete. So I don't have a check on my connect switch friend code. Uh, if you had other players, you'd be able to check on their status as well. Um, and, and that's how you'll check on the status of your teams. Um, if anyone has any questions, please reach out to me. Uh, again, register teams, it should be all done here. You can check your if your roster is completely verified here. If not, you'll see it on this side with a pending status. Uh, and if you have any questions, please email me or message me in Discord, create a ticket. Uh, we'll get to it as soon as we can. Thank you.